Thanks for joining us here at six. Lots of talk about a gas tax holiday over the past 24 hours. And in fact, President Biden made his pitch to Congress yesterday and it faces an uphill battle, though. But how much do you go do gas taxes really affect the price you pay at the pump? Political reporter Theo Keith has a fill up on that knowledge. It's four dollars and 73 cents a gallon of regular gas right now in the Twin Cities. At a 14 gallon tank, this means it's 66 bucks to fill up. So what drives the price of gas? The biggest factor, more than half the total cost, is the price of crude oil, and it has soared during the pandemic. Then there's the cost to refine that oil. A sliver goes to distribution and marketing, and then there are federal and state taxes. The government doesn't have much control over any of these three in the short term. This is the one they have control over. This week, President Biden called on Congress to suspend the federal gas tax. So what effect would that have? Not much. So let's take a closer look at taxes. There's the 18 cent a gallon federal gas tax and the 28 cent a gallon Minnesota gas tax. So remember that driver who's paying 66 bucks to fill up? Eliminating both gas taxes could save that driver $6.40 or so each time, or about 60 bucks over the life of a three month gas tax holiday. But economists have pointed out savings aren't guaranteed. Oil companies could simply raise the base, keeping the extra profit. There's nothing that says that the companies need to pass the savings on. They could just keep that extra profit for themselves. And if prices do go down, that could boost demand. And without raising supply, that would send prices back up. Lawmakers in both parties have been cool to a gas tax holiday in Congress. And in Minnesota, no one currently in power is really pushing it. It's worth pointing out that both the state and federal gas taxes pay for road construction. So lawmakers would have to make up the shortfall to keep funding those projects. On the inflation beat, I'm Theo Keith, Fox 9.